Job chapter 19 Then Job responded and said, How long will you torment my soul and break me to pieces with your words? These ten times you have reproached me, you are not ashamed to treat me with contempt. And even if it is true that I have erred, my error remains with me. If indeed you exalt yourselves against me and plead my disgrace against me, know now that God has overthrown me and has surrounded me with his net. Behold, I cry out of wrong, but I am not heard. I cry aloud, but there is no justice. He has fenced up my way so that I cannot pass, and he has set darkness in my paths. He has stripped me of my honor and taken the crown from my head. He has destroyed me on every side, and I am gone. My hope he has uprooted like a tree. He has also kindled his wrath against me, and he counts me among his enemies. His troops come together and raise up their way against me. They encamp around my tent. He has removed my brothers far from me, and my acquaintances are completely estranged from me. My kinsfolk have failed me, and my close friends have forgotten me. Those who dwell in my house and my maids consider me a stranger. I am like an alien in their sight. I called my servant, and he gave me no answer. I begged him with my mouth. My breath is offensive to my wife, and I am loathsome to the children of my own body. Even young children despise me. When I arise, they speak against me. All my close friends abhor me, and those whom I loved have turned against me. My bones cling to my skin and to my flesh, and I have escaped by the skin of my teeth. Have pity on me, have pity on me, O you my friends, for the hand of God has struck me. Why do you persecute me as God does and are not satisfied with my flesh? O oh, that my words were written! O oh, that they were inscribed in a book! That they were engraved with an iron pen and lead in the rock forever! For I know that my Redeemer lives, and he shall stand at last on the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know that in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. How my heart yearns within me! If you should say, How shall we persecute him? Since the root of the matter is found in me. Be afraid of the sword for yourselves, for wrath brings the punishment of the sword, that you may know there is a judgment.